Vivo just announced their flagship Vivo X200 series in China today at the famous Water Cube, the National Aquatic Center, in Beijing. We got the device a couple of days in advance, so our team had some time to play around and test it before an in-depth review. In case you were wondering how the phone feels in real life, here's a quick first impression of the Vivo X200 Pro. The X200 Pro feels premium right out of the box. With its flat edges and metal frame, it gives us some serious flagship vibes. We've got the blue sapphire model, which mimics the ocean waves under light. I'm not sure if everyone would love this, but it definitely stands out. The almost flat display is a refreshing change from the curved screens we've been seeing everywhere. It's got a nice heft to it, striking a balance between solid and comfortable, that is, until you get to the camera bump. So let's address the elephant in the room, that camera island is huge if we still take it as a pro model. It's big enough to be called an, ultra, dominating the back of the phone, especially when we learned that the camera also inherited quite a lot from the X100 Ultra. While it houses a triple lens setup, there's an extra, lens-like, circle up top that's more for show than function. It balances out the look, but don't be fooled, it's not a fourth camera. The camera app on the X200 Pro has gotten a serious glow up. Vivo has added a bunch of AI features that make shooting a breeze. But note that almost all the fantastic custom features were developed for domestic users with various Chinese applications. For overseas markets, the brand has to work with Google's Gemini. But there's no doubt that Originos 5 intrigues me significantly more. Further, video capabilities have taken a giant leap forward, especially in dark environments. We're talking 4K at 120fps and even 8K at 30fps, which are all working well for dark scenarios. And for all you vloggers out there, there's a new portrait video mode that's bound to up your game. Initial quality of the videos was quite impressive but we want to test out the camera in detail for our final verdict. More importantly, it has a lot of fun that we couldn't experience all in a moment. Dot. Just circle any objects or items on the display to search for their information. It can be triggered in any app while just holding two fingers on the screen for a few seconds. The results. Surprisingly accurate most of the time. If you missed our X200 launch article, let me remind you that there's a Pro Mini model as well. It has a very unique placement, compact in size, which is a refreshing change from all the Ultras and the Pro Maxes we've been seeing. We also have a detailed article explaining the entire Vivo X200 series, which will be out very soon. In addition, Vivo and MediaTek have jointly developed and globally premiered the kilometer-level network-less communication technology, which realizes point-to-point -point and long-distance communication through Bluetooth connection in a network-less and signal-less environment. Supports SOS text broadcasting, one-to-one -one voice text intercom, map location display, etc. Within a certain distance, you can form a local network of communication with other Vivo users by turning your phone into a walkie-talkie. To sum up, the Vivo X200 Pro is shaping up to be a serious contender in the high-end smartphone market. With its focus on photography, powerful chip, and AI capabilities, it's clear Vivo is gunning for the top spot. Sure, that camera bump is huge and might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you're all about that photo and video life, this is definitely a phone to check out. As for the battery, I would draw my conclusion first here, it feels like the premium phone with the longest battery life I've ever used.